Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1969 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup features the Boston Red Sox versus the Seattle Pilots at Six Stadium. On the mound for the Red Sox today is Jim Lonborg, whose record is 8-9 with a 4.03 ERA. And pitching for the Pilots today is Marty Patton, whose record is 7-10 with a 4.49 ERA. Okay, so we swept the Royals, as we should have. Uh, we put the smack down. On, well, you know what? They actually put the smack down on themselves because they had, what was it, six errors in the first game, one error in the second game, and three errors uh, in the final game of the series. So if you commit ten errors in three days, uh, and you lose all three, I guess you probably did it to yourself. So um, we take the victories any way we can get them. Uh, we are now five games above 500, and we're heading into the final series of July. We're facing the Red Sox, who are in last place in the uh, East Division. So uh, I have to feel pretty good about our chances at home versus the Sox. Um, also, don't forget, we do have uh, the trade deadline in just three days so instead of doing a league leaders video at the end of the month i think we'll we'll go through uh the transactions and take a look at all of the trades up through the end of july and see um who's doing what where and if they've made any impact on their new team i think i think that'd be fun so we'll do that okay let's go ahead and get today's game started as always i appreciate everyone following along like and or subscribe to the channel uh, I did have a video yesterday where I showed the uh, Dave Roberts uh, Tops contract. If you haven't seen that, um, you should check out that video. Uh, it's uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, the contract in and of itself is in pristine condition. It was well taken care of, and um, I think everyone will probably uh, really enjoy, whoever the winner is will really enjoy that. Uh, we have Marty Patton on the mound. We're gonna skip Dick Bates. Um, he is filling in for Gene Brabender. We don't actually need him in the rotation this time through. So we're going to go right to Marty Patton, and then uh, the next time through, uh, Dick Bates will get his first start of the year. Also, um, uh, Ron Locke is almost uh, healthy. He's another four days. He'll be back on the first of the month, and um, we will probably send Riddleberger down since he's doing so poorly. Okay, then we have our lineup today versus Jim Lonborg, who is a righty. So it's our lineup versus righties. We're doing a really great job, I think, of um, platooning our players and keeping them healthy. And that'll be a big key because I think we ha had, what, 45 days in a row without a day off. Um, we're in that stretch right now. So that is the plan. Let's go ahead and do the lineup rundown for the Boston Red Sox. This is a team that's made a lot of trades, got rid of a lot of their better players. So let's see who they have starting today. Batting leadoff in right field is Reggie Smith. Batting second at third base is Carmen Fanzone. Batting third in left field is Carl Yastrzemski. Batting cleanup in center field is Don Locke. And batting fifth at first base is George Scott. Batting sixth at second base is Dalton Jones. Batting seventh and catching is Tom Satriano. Batting eighth at shortstop is Luis Alvarado. And batting ninth is the pitcher Jim Lonborg. Okay, let's take a look here at Marty Patton. As I mentioned, he's taken over the ace role with Brabender on the IL. Uh, he is making his 22nd start of the year. No, I'm sorry, it is his 21st. He made one relief appearance. Uh, so it's his 21st start. He's 7 and 10 with a 4.49 ERA. 59 strikeouts in 116 and a third innings pitched. Opponents are betting 280 against him. He has that complete game shutout. You pretty much know the rest. The 26 year old righty goes to arbitration uh, in 1970. Let's take a look at his log. He's had a couple. Uh, well, actually, I'd say he's had four out of five last starts have been pretty bad. Um, 
He's given up five, three, one, seven, and three. Um, only going five and a third for the uh, his best start. That is one that he did get the victory in. So um, we uh, that's our biggest problem right now with our pitching. We just don't have any pitchers who can get into the sixth inning consistently without blowing up. Here is our defense for today. Very good. Solid everywhere. Um, our weakest position is left field with an 83. That's amazing. We've got uh, Jerry May behind the plate. And we've got Reggie Smith leading off. Reggie betting 266, 16 home runs in the leadoff roll. A line drive to third. Oh, that's an infield single. Um, wow, that is a tough way to start the ball game. Will Smith, not not the Will Smith. Uh, my que it's a question coming out of my mouth. Will Smith be going here? <laughs> All right, Carmen fan zone. He's a rookie, batting 247 with six home runs, striking out on that curveball. That is only the 60th strikeout for Marty Patton this year. He does not strike out many. He does not walk many. Here's Yaz, 284 hitter. He's got seven home runs. His home run total is way down compared to last year's 23. He flies out to left center field for out number two. And Patton on the verge of getting out of this jam. Here's Don Locke coming over from the Phillies this year. Leading the team with 21 home runs. And he strikes out looking. We go to the bottom of the first. Here is the Pilots lineup rundown for today's ball game. Batting leadoff in the left field is Lou Pinella. Batting second at first base is Mike Keegan. Batting third in right field is Joe Pepitone. Batting cleanup in center field is Tommy Agee. Batting fifth and catching is Jerry May. Batting sixth at second base is Van Kelly. Batting seventh at third base is Don Kessinger. Batting eighth at shortstop is Freddie Patek. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Marty Patton. Okay, let's take a look at Jim Lonbord. We have not seen him, I think, since the opening series of the year. We played Boston uh, to, to get out of the gate. And uh, he is making his 24th start. 8-9 with a 403 ERA, 115 strikeouts in 169 and two-thirds innings pitched. Opponents are batting 274 against him. Five complete games, one shutout. Fastball tops out at 89 miles an hour. Uh, and the fastball is his best pitch. It's rated an 87. He's got three other pitches. Uh, only the sinker is decent. Overall at 83, the 27-year-old righty goes to arbitration at the end of this year. We'll look at his log, but I don't think it's going to show any pilots games because he would have made a start in the first series of the year. And that's not showing up here. So, uh, But he has won three in a row, including a uh, complete game victory over the Senators. So he's on a hot streak here. There's the defense for the Red Sox. First and third are both below league average. Um, otherwise, pretty solid everywhere. Okay. Here's Sweet Lou leading off versus Jim Lonborg. And Lonborg plugs him in the hip. That must be something from uh, some revenge from the days when Pinella was on the Royals. So Pinella takes first. We've got Mike Hegan up. So we're gonna take a let him take a cut here, and he said he strikes out looking. Normally, I would try to find a way to advance him with a hit and run, uh, but I thought we'd let him swing away, and it didn't work out. So. Run around first for Joe Pepitone. Pepitone still batting over 300, batting 314 with five home runs. We've done a good job platooning him. And he pops up here to third. Otherwise, he's been pretty good for us so far. Two down now for Tommy Agee, leading the team with 17 home runs. He's in the top 10 in American League home runs. Ground ball up the middle, snagged by the shortstop. Alvarado, and that will do it. So we go to the top of the second inning. No score. George Scott leading off. George Scott batting 270 with 16 home runs, and he leads off with a hit. 
So, um, I, you know, this seems to happen way too often. Um, leadoff man gets out of both innings. Let's we'll see if we can't turn two here. Scott, not very good speed. And Dalton Jones also kind of slow afoot. There's a ground ball to short. That is Taylor May double play. 6-4-3. That will bring up the catcher, Tom Satriano. He must have come over in a trade with the Angels. Uh, no transaction recorded, so I don't know how they got him. Maybe he was a free agent? Unsure. Okay, here we go. Tom Satriano walks. Unbelievable. A two-out walk to a catcher batting below 200. Here's the light-hitting shortstop, Luis Alvarado. Fly ball into left field. That might fall in. Oh, it's going to be caught by the left fielder, Pinella. He had to come in quick to make that play on that one. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Here is a Jerry May making his second start since being called up from Triple A. He went two for five in that first game. Getting sawed off, popping it up to short. That's four outs in a row for Lomborg. Van Kelly stepping in with a ground ball to third. Third baseman fan zone tossing him out. And here's our hottest hitter, Don Kessinger, batting 192. He's come a long way. Look at this. He's on a, what is that, a seven-game hitting streak. He's got three multiple hit games every other game, it looks like. Um, and he's got his average from 142 to 193. Taking advantage of getting the everyday starts while Rollins is on the IL. It's a liner into center field for out number three. So we're going to the top of the third inning. No score. Couple of hits and a walk for the Red Sox today. Jim Lonborg leading off, batting 074. Get some good wood on that as Patton threw it up in his eye level. Drives it almost 400 feet to the wall in center field. Just a long out. Here's Reggie Smith. 3-1 count to Reggie Smith, and he got all of it. He went Oppo Taco to left field. 406 feet, his 17th home run on the season, and it's 1-0 Boston. That's going to bring up Carmen Fanzone with a base hit to left. Mm. So, Patton, I don't think he's got it today. You can already tell that um, he's struggling as Yaz pops out right in front of the pitcher. Who's going to catch it? The catcher. Good. I, I hate it when the pitcher tries to take uh, charge of those situations. Usually something goes wrong. Two down. Here is Don Locke. Struck out the first time up. Ground ball to short. Patek tosses him out. So they get one run on the home run by Reggie Smith. We go to the bottom of the third with Freddie Patek leading off. Patek, he's getting his average up too. It's up to 239. And there's the first hit. Patek, base hit to left field. Do we want to go for two? Uh, Yaz is a outfielder you can run on, but this is not that situation. Third baseman in as Patton comes to the plate. We're going to drop down a bunt. Um, let's see if he can execute it. Here we go. 0 1 count. And a good bunt to the third baseman pulled in. Patek beats the. Well, I guess you didn't beat the throw. The throw goes to first. So good hustle by Patek. He's in scoring position for Lou Pinella. Opportunity here to tie the ball game. 0 2 count to Pinella. And an infield single. You know what? Have you ever seen an infield single up the middle like that? I've, that's the first time I've ever seen it go through past the pitcher. So we have a little bit of a rally going here. It's first and third. One out. 
We're going to go on contact. I'm, I'm using this a little bit more often in these situations here when you cannot hit and run with the batter. Um, that would be optimal to do that here. But Mike Keegan um, does not have great contact. In fact, he strikes out a lot. Full count to him here. And this is one of those situations where he blows it. So we're going to leave it up to you, Joe Pepitone here to get us on the board. And he hits a fly ball to center. And we waste a major opportunity. We go to the bottom, uh, top of the fourth inning as my neighbor and his new Harley are coming home or leaving. That's the, that's the problem with living in a valley uh, between the mountains here is everything echoes, even though he doesn't live very close. I don't know if you can even hear it, but I can definitely hear it. There's a fly ball to center field from George Scott as AG tracks it down. One out. I would love a 1-2-3 inning here as he walks Dalton Jones. So Patton, who just doesn't walk anybody, has already walked two today. He's got 26 walks in 119 innings pitched compared to 37 and 84 in his rookie season with the Angels. Um, so I guess he's still doing well, but uh, I don't know. I think we've maybe hit the uh, end of the line here for him as he walks another battery. So, so they're going to get a run here, and there's nothing we can do about it. Um, I... I think we're going to play third base in. I don't think Alvarado would lay down a bunt, but maybe this works sometimes for us. We pull that third baseman in, we psych him out at the plate, full count, and it's going to drop in for a base hit into right center field. I mean, it was going to happen anyway. We already knew that, so it is what it is, I guess. 2 nothing. Here's Jim Lonborg. Pulling everybody in. He's swinging. That'll get another run in as the pitcher. Well, you have one 400 feet and 380 feet. 385 feet. It's 3 0. In fact, Alvarado tags from first and goes to second. I mean, that would. I mean, I know it, it could happen in a baseball game, but it's just so unlikely. So, will Reggie get another home run here? Ground ball up the middle. Patek tosses him out. So two more runs against Patton. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. And uh, it looks like today's not going to be our day. As AG gets a base hit in the center field. That is the third hit uh, for the Pilots. Now what's the, hit, what's the stolen base opportunity here? 72. Satriano is an 83 rating. We're down three runs. I would like to get some pressure on. But if it was one nothing, I probably would go. But now there's there's no reason to do that. Yeah, and instead, we're going to get doubled up. Oh, AJ's going AJ's to beat it out uh, and get into the scoring position. Well, maybe they'll give us a run here. We should certainly take them in these situations. And a base hit up the middle for Van Kelly. AG, who knows? Okay, he scores an RBI single, and the game gives us a, a run. That's nice. We're going to hit and run here, then, with Kessinger. Uh, he is capable of that. We have Kelly on first. We'll stay on the double play, at least. Maybe Kessinger keeps his hit streak alive. Ground ball to third. The only play is to first. So Kessinger 0 for 2 today. Kelly in scoring position now for Patek. Patek had a base hit first time up. 1-0 count. And he's going to line it into center field for a hit. Kelly scores easily. And Patek has a triple. His first as a pilot. Second on the year. Fourth career. Um, I like to give all the information. Oh no, now it's Marty Patton. I mean, we should pull Patton right now. I, he's only going to give up more runs. And we have an opportunity to tie the ball game. Um, I know I complain about our pitchers not going six, but there's no way Patton's going to go six. 
So we're going to go ahead and take out Marty Patton here and give ourselves a chance to win. Who hits righties well? Is it Dar uh, yeah, uh, Darren Johnson? Um, yeah, let's let's uh, let's let's bring in Darren Johnson. I mean, he's first off the bench. Let's see if he can drive in. Freddie Patek, two one count. Base hit into right field. The game is tied. All right, everything I'm doing is working today. RBI single for Darren Johnson. Don't lose sight of the fact that he's batting almost 280 right now, which uh, is remarkable for this team. Here's Lou Pinella, full count to Pinella, and a ground ball to third. That should end the inning. It does. The game is tied. We will bring in, I'm guessing, it will be Pedro Ramos coming in from the pen. Ramos doing a good gerb. 1-0, 129. 15 strikeouts in 28 innings pitched. Opponents are betting under 200. I'd like to get two innings out of him at least. Um, he's a free agent at the end of the year. And he's got Carmen Fanzone. I feel like that can't be how you pronounce that. Is it Fanzoni? Or is it just like two syllables? I don't know. I'm going to change my last name to Fun Zone as Fan Zone flies out to the left. One down. Here is Yaz. 0 1 count to Yastrzemski. That's going to go right in the same place as Fan Zone's fly ball. Pinella making both the catches. And Don lock up at the plate. Oh, they're all three. See, how many times has that happened? How many times in a, are there three ground balls to second base? I mean, there's the programming is absolutely putrid in this game. I'm really, I, I'm imagining that the new version, the 2023 version of Baseball Mogul is going to be coming out in the next month and a half or so. And I just hope the AI in gameplay version has improved in some way. Um, but I, I can't imagine it would. Here we go. Mike Keegan leading off. All tied at three. Bottom of the fifth inning. Keegan strikes out. That's what he does. One out. Here is Joe Pepitone. Pepitone now 0 for 5 in his career versus Lawnborg. And he's going to get off the schneid with a base hit to center field. Pepitone standing on first for Tommy Agee. Wait for him to drive him home. Agee one for two today. Oh, pounds it into the dirt in front of home plate. Satriano jumps on it and guns him out at second. We are definitely going to try to steal here now. There's two down, and we have our weak part of the lineup coming up. So at the very least, let's see if we can't get Agee into scoring position. We mentioned yesterday that he has not been thrown out in quite a while, at least the last 21 games. Let's see if he can steal second. Curveball in the dirt, and he steals second base. His 26th on the year. 26 for 32. That is a very good ratio there. I think that's 75%, approximately. Now could Jerry May drive him home? Give us the lead. Fly ball to center. Don Locke making the catch. We go to the top of the sixth inning. Ramos, he only threw five pitches for those three fly balls to left field. Let's see if we can't have another efficient inning. We've got a couple lefties coming up here. So I guess it'll depend upon what George Scott does. First pitch swinging. Popping it up. What kind of was that a spitball that he just threw? It was a spitball. I don't know if you saw the movement there, but <laughs> um, it made some f funky play. All right. Um, one down. Now we'll let him uh, face Dalton Jones. We could bring in a lefty here, but this also now starts to feel like a, a free baseball type game. Line drive to first. Higgins going to make all those plays. Two out. Here is the catcher, Satriano. 
Oh, shh, Nike. Lines it in the center. Is that going to get down? It does get down up against the wall for a double. Anybody else would be standing on third. That is Satriano's third double of the year. And that's the go-ahead run. I think we're going to intentionally walk Luis Alvarado to get to the pitcher. And they're going to pitch hit. Oh, this could backfire. I can't believe the game is doing something as it should. Um, Kenny Harrelson up. Can't get regular at bats despite having 35 home runs in 1968, uh, which I believe did lead the American League, and that was the year of the pitcher. So for him to do that was pretty amazing. Was he an all-star? He was an all-star. So let's see what we can do here against Ken Harrelson. This is a tough situation. Things to go sideways here. One, two, count to Harrelson. And he strikes him out. Nicely done. We are going to the bottom of the sixth. We have a new pitcher. It is Ron Klein. He's 37 years old. He's got a double chin. That's a rough life back then. He's got gout, maybe. I don't know. I apologize to the family of Ron Klein. <laughs> oh, and two, 644. ERA, more walks and strikeouts. More. Oh, I almost said something that I probably shouldn't have said, which I didn't. Um, <laughs> uh, and yeah, he's not good. 67 rating. Come on, man. Here we go. Van Kelly leading off. Kelly had the big hit driving in our first run. Got the rally going, and he gives us the lead with a solo shot into right center field. That is Kelly's fourth home run on the year. And he may be batting under 200, but he, more often than not, seems to come through in, in clutch situations. So, good job by him. Let's take a look here at the in-game stats as Kessinger comes up. He's 0 for 2 today. I would like to see him get a hit here off of Klein. Yep. Popping it up on the infield. Dalton Jones making the catch. One down. That's going to bring up Freddie Patek. Patek has not been denied today. He's two for two with a ribby. Make it three for three. Base hit into center field. Three for three. A triple and a stolen base. Is, is that right? Sounds right. Let's take out Ramos. Great job by Ramos. And we will bring in... We're going to bring in Don Bosch. He does not hit righties well. He strikes out like every time. But perhaps against the 67 or 80. Oh, one count. There's a base hit to center field. Patek goes to third, and we have a rally going against Ron Klein. Let's hit and run. Uh, Bosch on first, Patek. On third, a lot of speed on the base path. And Lupinella doing what he does best, which is make some contact. One-two count. And a base hit down the right field line, up against the wall. Bosch goes to third. It is five to three as Patek crosses the plate. An RBI single for Lupinella. He's now two for three today. Let's see if Hegan. You know what? I was going to say, let's go for a sack fly. But you know what? Everybody's getting in on this party against Ron Klein. So we're going to let him take a cut. Two to one. Two one count, I should say. And a base hit to right. This has a can of whoop ass being opened up right now. First and third. Six to three now. And Joe Pepitone, he is chomping at the bit. One two count for Pepitone. And a base hit into left center field. Pinellas scores. We are going to hold Hegan at second. He's given up six hits this inning. Four runs. And they want to keep him in there. Here's Tommy Agee. 
AG infield single. Okay, I feel now I'm starting to feel bad. I mean, I do love it when we just absolutely pound instead of getting pounded. And they're gonna bring in someone I've never heard of, Don Newhauser. He is a rookie making his 37th appearance. He didn't actually make it to the major leagues until 1973. That's a 74 baseball card there. Uh, it, he is three and fourth, a 3.97 ERA. Wow. Um, this guy's rated an 84, peaking at 95. His fastball is rated a 91, tops out at 93. 21-year-old rookie goes to arbitration in 1971. So this guy's got a future, at least in this sim. He's in a tough jam here as uh, Jerry May, 0 for 3 today, has the bases loaded. Let's see what he does here. Ground ball to third. Is that going to be a double play? Damn it. Great job by Newhauser. We go to the top of the seventh. We put up four runs that inning. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> I guess we've got a switch hitter and a righty and a lefty. So let's bring in John Morris. Try to bring in some players who have not thrown as many innings and give her other uh, members of our bullpen a little bit of a break as you looked at Morris there so here's Reggie Smith he's going to turn around bat right-handed where he's betting 246 versus lefties ground ball up the middle Kelly good range making the plate pardon me while I have a drink of coffee here okay one down Carmen fan zone up Fan zone, one for three. That's a K against him. And he pops up to second. Two quick outs for John Morris. Here's Yaz. Yaz, a lot of lefty on lefty violence. He's betting 306. Doesn't hit a lot of home runs though. Slugging percentage is only 363. And he pops up. So a grounder to second and two pop ups to second base. All right, we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Van Kelly will lead off. Kelly, he has that home run. He's two for three today. And Newhauser walks him. That was a close pitch, but four straight balls. And Don Kessinger has a chance here. Keep that streak alive. This might be his last chance today. 2-2 two -two count to Kessinger. Ground ball to second. Oh, double play. Well, does it does not diminish what he's done these last six games. He has been absolutely clubbing it. And Patek pops out. Newhauser coming in and shutting it down. We go to the eighth inning. We've got two righties and two lefties coming up. I don't feel like Sending Morris back out for another inning would be the right thing to do. So I guess we're going to send Skippy out there. Skippy has been good. He might be our closer here before too long. Um, this is his 22nd game. 1-0 with an 0.75 ERA 23 Ks in 24 innings pitched. He's only walked 8. Opponents are betting 225. He's good. Here is Don Locke leading off against Skippy. We have, I mean, our defense, see, when you put a good defense out there, I feel like that really does help out your pitchers. I mean, it should, rating-wise, but uh, Lockwood gets a K. Striking out Don Locke. Here's George Scott. Ground ball to short, Patek. Throwing him out. Two down. Here's the left-hander, Dalton Jones. He's 0 for 2, and he's walked. 1-1 one, one count. Ground ball to third. Kessinger playing good defense, not contributing at the plate, but he's making the plays in the field. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Okay, Lockwood coming out. We're going to give uh, Wayne Comer a pinch hit appearance. 
Uh, he's recently come back from the minors where he was doing really well. I mean, he was started to hit. Um, he was in our opening day lineup. He just could not get it done. And um, you see he pinch hit in every game in the... Uh, oh, that's way back in June. So this is the, his first appearance since coming back up. All right, let's, let's give him a shot here. I mean, look at his ratings. His ratings are 80 uh, to 82. I mean, he's, he's better than anybody else we have on the, on the bench. He probably should be in the field. Here we go, Wayne Comer leading off the inning against Newhauser. And Newhauser sets him down. So, welcome back. Three fastballs. He's grabbing some bench. Lou Pinello, his third hit of the ball game. A double into right center field. That is his fourth double as a pilot and his 25th overall. That may be leading the American League. We'd have to check that. Also, I want to point out, his gap power is what leads to those doubles, I, in, I, I'm assuming. Um, so that's why he gets so many damn doubles. And that's exactly the kind of hitter we need in our lineup. He's in scoring position for Mike Keegan, who has struggled a little bit today. He's one for four. And a line drive to third. Will Pinella get back? He does get back to second. And we'll leave it up to Pepitone. He's two for four with an RBI today. Full count, and he walks. That was a close pitch. First and second now for Tommy Ag. One swing of the bat from Ag would put this game away. One zero -oh count. Ground ball to first. We move on to the ninth. Uh. I think Comer is better defensively in right field. Let's find out. He's an 81. Oh, he's equal. Um, so we don't care about that. Thing. Uh, yeah, actually, they're almost dead equal. Okay. So we leave that alone. We'll bring in a pitcher. We don't need to bring in a closer. Um, I guess we bring in Denny Riddleburger. We're up four runs. How do you like your burgers? Riddled with Matt Cow disease. <laughs> That's funny to me every time. I don't know if you guys think it's funny or not, but... Here we go. Tom Satriano. He's been on base every time. It's one for one, a couple of walks. I'll give him another. As Riddleburger has really fallen apart. Yeah, I mean, he's walking a lot of people. It's a bottom third of the lineup, so we're going to give him a chance, but... No. Oh, no. No. Okay, ground ball to first. A 3-1 count. I was thinking the worst. Oh, they're going to get... They're going to give him one more run here. As Tony Canigliaro comes up, why is this guy not playing every day? I don't know. The guy's done nothing but hit home runs his entire career. And yet, um, the right fielder, oh, the right fielder is Reggie Smith. You can't argue with what he's doing. Okay, come on, Riddleberger. Full count. Okay, he walks him. So, that's all we need. To, well, shoot. I guess we have to let Riddleberger pitch to um, the switch hitter. It wouldn't matter. Let's try to get a double play here and get this game over with. Oh, home run will make it interesting, though. And he gaps it. Wow. Wow. Well, this is the junk runs. I mean. Um, and we know we know that Yaz hits lefties well. So now we will bring in the closer. Mike Marshall. Try to end this ball game. But this, this could go sideways here. One swing of the bat. And he walks him. Um, I feel like the game does that, like as part of its own AI, to set up a double play. I would not. I would have given up that run on a base hit. I would never have intentionally walked him. But now he's got to face Yaz, who's 0 for 4 today. We have to guard the lines. Um, an extra base hit would tie the ball game. Otherwise, in theory, 2-1 count. Ground ball up the middle, base hit. Smith. 
holds. And now a base hit ties the game, and there's nothing we can do about it, so we just have to throw the pitch. Wow, that was a gutsy call. Full count, and he practically throws it in the dirt. Gets the strikeout of Don Locke. And now George Scott is up. Wow, this is uh, this is tough here. Base is loaded, two down, game on the line. George Scott, oh, one for four today. Here we go. We're going to play straight away. That's all you can do here. 1-1 one, one count to Scott. Fly ball to right field. And that is the ball game. Pilots win 7-5. to five. They get a couple garbage runs there at the end. Handshakes, butt slaps, sloppy states. Okay, so we are on a nice little winning streak here. We're beating the teams we should beat. Uh, four in a row. We're within four of the lead. Cleveland, by the way, has caught Baltimore. Uh, they are tied, and I don't know how they're doing it because they lost Sam McDowell for the year, and yet they're hanging in there. Um, I guess that's what the game does, right? San Diego! <laughs> They've lost four in a row. San Francisco's lost five in a row. Um, Atlanta's won five in a row, but they haven't gained any. Okay, let's uh, take a look at Headline news, Brainiac Baseball Daily Beat. Have there been any trades? That's what we're going to find out here. Orioles win 5 to nothing to share the division lead. Things are happening, things happened, and then other things happened. Messersmith dominates the Yankees with a three-hitter. Um, that's good. He's That's their uh, ace. He struck out 11. Nothing else to see here. We'll take a look at the transactions. Ah, uh, and nothing to see here. No no other uh, transactions. So let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and or subscribe to the channel. Player of the game. This could be a tough call. I mean, Pinella. Who got the game-winning RBI? Oh, Van Kelly did. Uh, yeah, and Kelly hit the home run. I mean, there are a lot of deserving players, but not only did Kelly hit the home run, but he did have the most RBI, and that's kind of like my tiebreaker. So we're going to give it to Van Kelly today. Good job by him. Uh, not to be overlooked. Freddie Patek, three for four. Lou Pinella, three for four. Great job by them. AG got another stolen base. The win goes to Pedro Ramos. I pat myself on the back for pulling Patton early and also giving... Um, uh, who was it? Darren Johnson, that opportunity to tie the ball game, which played out well. Ramos gets the win. He's 2-0. and Mike Marshall gets the save. Almost coughed it up. Riddleberger has signed his uh, bus ticket back to AAA. And uh, that's going to do it for today. So we're going to come back tomorrow with game two of the three-game series. Until then, everyone have a great day.